It's like a sharp pain. If something ever, unfortunately, happens to her. Look how the baby could keep her balance. Wow. Go home, you're drunk. <laughs> Do I look cute, actually? Um, good morning, first of all. It's Saturday morning. Happy Vlogmas, day number three. I missed day number two, but I told you guys I was gonna miss today. Um, so happy Vlogmas, day number three. And I have a feeling this is gonna go up late. But anyway, so my hair, I went to the salon last night. This was a doobie, and now it's not anymore. So I'm gonna take off all the pins. Actually, I'm going to have my mother-in-law take off. Oh, my mother-in-law is here. <laughs> my mother-in-law is here. And Samara, Samara. Samara, Samara. Come here, Samara. That's not yours. That's mine. Pick up the pins. Just going to take off my pins. Because this is not a very cute look right now. But you guys know there's no shame in my game. Hey, honey. Happy Saturday! You gonna take this bobo off? Hey, <laughs> you beautiful girl! <laughs> You're so beautiful, guys. She has this thing where she like stands up, where she doesn't want like to hold herself. Okay. Oh no, you almost fell! So she like stands up on her own <laughs> and doesn't want anyone to hold her because she could do it by herself. So. What are you doing? Grandma's taking off the pins out of my hair. She wants to be like Jennifer Hudson on the spotlight. Ah! <laughs> what do you think? This is the Samara show? It's the Dunstan show. You have to share the camera, mamas. Tell them something. Tell them. Tell them something. Tell them. Whoa! Oh, crazy girl. Sure she didn't put a big um, hair pin. Because I was gonna put the net. Oh, the net on your hair. You I can't find it? it. I can't find it. Look at this girl just chilling. Huh, Samara? Look at this girl. Mommy's hair smells good. She got it done yesterday for the marriage conference tonight. Uh. So now I could wait. <laughs> I can, this way. Do you find any more? No. I think I took them all. I think that's it. Can mommy part her hair correctly? Without you being crazy, girl. I cut my hair. I cut the ends. The ends. Mhm. Mm what do you guys think? Such a difference, right? <laughs> mommy. Hey guys, so I haven't gotten my eyebrows done yet. Um, haven't been able to do that just yet. Um, my my grandmother, my mother-in-law slept over last night. Um, I I really like it when she sleeps over because it reminds me of the old days when me and Dom and her used to hang out before we got married. Um, and we used to hang out all the time, but now since like Dom moved out, I don't get to see her as much. Um, so it was nice that she slept over. Dom went to get Dunkin' Donuts for us because I do not want to make breakfast this morning. Um, so tonight we have the marriage conference. I'm excited about that because I was outed out for many years because I wasn't married and I was so sad um, that I couldn't go and every time the, the pastors used to talk about it they used to be like oh this is for married couples and you guys are gonna come on more in love and we're gonna because there's gonna be um, a psychologist that's gonna 
that's going to be there which is also I believe a pastor um, who's gonna give the conference and we get to ask questions and stuff like that so she used to be like you know every year and then we're gonna have food we're gonna order food from a restaurant and it's actually in our church but they decorated really 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 nice and so I finally got to go to my first one last year because I got married in 2015 and now this is my second marriage conference um actually sneaked in there um three years ago like they have people that like help out and that serve the couples or whatever so um one year I went as a server you know to hear what's what's going on in the conference before I was married um so I went to serve um the couples and set everything up and so I got to hear it or whatever so I sneaked myself in there but now I'm a I'm actually married so I get to go um so yeah just hanging out with my mother-in-law and Samara. I'm waiting for daddy. Ooh! Ow! Have you guys ever been like pregnant? Obviously, because I'm pregnant. And get like a pain in your, I wouldn't say like your groin area, but it, it's like, look, I'll show you guys. Like right here, it depends on the way I stand up. It's like a sharp pain. Like the baby just, it's like coming at me, I don't know. Oh, that really hurt. Okay, going back to the bedroom with my mom and Lance and Mara. Blooper, blooper, go to my window. Oh, Samara, are you tired? <laughs> you shaved all your hair. My head was itchy. I had to make sure I didn't have lice. What? <laughs> nice. Dominic has three different haircuts. First one is. He just when he just gets to shape up, he lets his hair grow a little bit and gets to shape up. The second one is he gets his Dominican haircut. I call it the Do I call it the Dominican haircut. How do also you also known as a brook? Yeah, the brook. But what or is it? They fade. just shave. They just shave here. They shape you up and then they fade out the connection between the upper and the lower. But since Dominic, I feel like since he's half Puerto Rican and half black, sometimes he looks very Dominican. Like yeah. when we went to Dominican Republic, everybody thought he was, tell me how many, don't say, tell me how many times. I don't see it. No, okay, you don't see it. This is what it. Dominican looks like. No, no, no. This is what I look no, like. No, you don't see it, but tell me how many times people confuse you for being Dominican. A lot. I know, but it doesn't make any sense. They're not like, oh, you're Puerto Rican and black. They're like, oh, you're Dominican. Everybody thinks you're Dominican. Anyway, and then the third one is his head like this. He just shaves all his head off. I think if he were ever to become bald, he wouldn't look bad. I'm practicing. And when, he, and when he, like, shaves it all off, he looks, like, more muscular. AKA, I'm not really muscular. I only look muscular. No, no, Thank no. You. He is muscular, but I don't know. I feel like when men shave off all their hair, they look... A little bit more, uh, see, look at those arms. Look, <laughs> I mean, they've always been there, but. Flexing. <laughs> You're flexing? Yeah, okay. Guys, look, we still have our decoration. I guess we don't want to ever let go of our decorations. It, literally, we have, like, no decoration in this area. We really have to decorate our home. But, um, I don't know where this is. We really have to decorate our home, so I mean, this really doesn't bother me. Anyway, Dom got Dunkin' Donuts for for his mom, me, and himself. So I got a light and sweet a light and sweet bagel. Did you hear what I was just gonna say? That I got a light and sweet bagel. <laughs> I got an everything bagel with cream cheese and a light and sweet coffee. By the way, Dominic hates it when I drink coffee. I'm out of focus. Dominic hates it when I drink coffee, but I, listen, before I was pregnant, I used to drink coffee every morning. And ever since I've gotten pregnant, I've probably had coffee like three times. And I'm about to be five months next week. I believe um, so you know pregnant women are allowed to have a little bit of caffeine so this is my little bit of caffeine today like I don't know I was just fiending for coffee this morning Wow I am so surprised 
They didn't fill my my um bagel with cream. You know how they put that big chunk of cream cheese? Look, this is the first time Dunkin' Donuts has gotten it right. Mm. This coffee was supposed to be light and sweet. And it was light, but it had no sugar in it. So I had to bring out my Hispanic azúcar. Domino sugar. Domino, that's funny. That's what my parents call Dominic. Because my parents, they speak Spanish. And they can understand English and defend themselves a little bit. But instead of saying Dominic, they call him Domino. Does my mom still call you Domino? I don't know. Short. Yeah, okay, so my mom, sorry mom, she doesn't call him Domino, but my grandmother definitely calls him Domino. Oh, oh, what do you have two? Let's just try to dig him. Mom, the first time I couldn't get the vein. Oh, well, she couldn't get the vein from here? It was like two of them, like, crossed, so she was like... And I was like, okay, that's fine. So, Dom, do it this way, Dom... Just got some blood work done because of his life insurance, right? For life insurance? For life insurance purposes. So some woman came into the house and she took blood work and um, he did a urine test. And I'm assuming it's so, why'd you get blood work? So they know it's you in the future? So they know what they're signing on to. It's an investment. So if I die and they pay me millions of dollars, they want to make sure I'm not dying they pay, right, right away. They pay us millions of dollars. Oh yeah, well. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> they want to make sure that I'm not dying tomorrow and I have something like some type of disease. Oh, okay, I get it. So they check your, like, to, for diseases and stuff? Yeah, checking my health. They're pretty healthy. I would like to think. Yeah. So you guys, I just want to get Dominic's, um, I'm about to finish this vlog and the camera's about to die. But I just wanted to get Dominic's opinion about something. Um, this is going to be a two-part vlog. Um, so this is just our morning. This is what we usually do on Saturdays, except his mother is not usually here. Um, but this is pretty much just hang out with the baby and stuff like that. But me and his mother were having a very controversial, or his mother and I were having a very controversial conversation about things that have been going on um, and that the media has been covering. And it's very sickening to me. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know if you guys watch the news, but there's been a lot of like, there's been a lot of, I can't think of the world, child abuse and child rape cases and child molestation cases. I was reading, um, something about a case that was like about five years ago where the girlfriend's, um, boyfriend or where the woman's boyfriend raped their three-year-old daughter. And ever since I've had Tamara, I swear I couldn't even finish the article anyway. It ends up that he got the death penalty because um, it was just such a horrible case. And when um, they did the autopsy, they did the autopsy. They found a lot of gruesome things and a lot of gruesome details. And it was just so horrible that the jury decided to, decided to give him the death penalty. The death penalty in itself, it's like a whole nother controversial issue that's not what we're going to talk about but what do you think about these men that do these things to children do you think they're really mentally they have to be mentally ill but do you think that that is a an excuse because they're mentally ill why would that be an excuse because since they're met they don't think like normal human beings do well that's what happens and when you don't have jesus that's yes, that is true, but... What else is there? To, that's not an excuse. If I rob a bank because I'm mentally unstable, so I can rob banks because I'm not thinking correctly. That's, that's not an excuse to be able to do things. I just can't wrap my head around how you do this to anybody, an adult anybody, but to a, ch a three-year-old child. I read a story about an eight-week-old child that got raped. Like, I can't even... Having Samara, I just, I don't... 
I, I'm sorry, I wouldn't trust anyone around Samara. And then sometimes this is from a person that you may have known for years and you don't know they're like sick in the head and it's just so scary. I was never allowed to sleep over anybody's house. What do you think about that? Obviously, if we know the family, but I think it's obviously all more all about communication and like i said i think in the video we did about like how we want samara to grow up i want her to be comfortable if something ever unfortunately happens to her i want her to have the confidence and the trust that she can tell us without feeling some type of way and not thinking well but there's some people blackmail these this children that, they blackmail these children that you better not tell your parents because if you tell your parents i'm gonna do something to your parents or i'm gonna do something i'm gonna kill you i want them to try drunk <laughs> I just said that because Diamond was coming up the stairs and I heard like somebody fall and I guess she tripped or something Di, did you trip? Yes, I did Ooh, dye. I like how curly your hair is now. Right. Since it's growing, it's like curlier. <laughs> what do you put in it? What do you put in it? Uh, gel. Just gel? No. First of all, I can't get my secret. <laughs> so you gotta be off camera. You gotta be off camera? Okay. <laughs> she just walked right past you. <laughs> yeah, she played you. She played you. <laughs> I still love you. <laughs> Yo, you were supposed to crawl to her, not past her. You fool, Titi. <laughs> Come on. Wow. Look how the baby could keep her balance. Wow. Oh, you're going to be a dancer. Look, my no hands. Look. <laughs> Ready? Wow. Somebody clap. Yeah. One. You guys, she's going to be walking soon. I just know it. Look at a baby. Look at a baby standing on her own. Yay! <laughs> Grandma call you. Yay! Dom and I were having a serious oh. conversation and the footage got cut off like you guys saw. So that would have been an interesting conversation, but it makes no sense in talking about it again and then because we kinda you kinda lost the passion in the conversation. So um so let me know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Um like I said, this is first part of this is gonna be the first part of this video. So this is gonna be Vlogmas Day 2, and then tonight with the marriage conference and everything is gonna be Vlogmas Day 3. So this is pretty much our morning. Now we're with family. We're gonna do the grab bag for Christmas. We're gonna pick out names. We're gonna do a grab bag between all four of us. <laughs> so I will see you guys tomorrow. Say bye, everyone. Bye. Say bye, Samara. Say bye. Say bye. Farewell. You know what I say. Let's see if you remember. <laughs> Let's see if you remember. Ah, she's like, oh, oh man. <laughs> like if you say it, um, you want me to tell you the first word? No, no, say the first line. The, as, as always. As always, we love you. <laughs> Uh, God what? bless me. No. <laughs> Come on, babe. Come on. As always, we love you. We adore you. And see you in part two. Wait, 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 wait.